So today I've got a autumn fall lookbook for you. In fact, I will have two. Um, I think I've got about 12, 15 outfits, but, and I could do it in one video because it's quite quick, you know, my little fashion show, but I purely split it into two because of the write-up in the description box. You know, I leave you links to stuff, and um, it would just fill up my uh, description box and there is only so much you are allowed to put in a description box. So I will split it into two videos and I'll probably post the second one straight away tomorrow or the day after. I don't know yet, but look out for that one. So this is part one. I am not going to be going through each outfit because this is not a haul. Um, a lot of things in there is things that I've had for ages. There are some new things. So what I will do, I will only link the things that are still available online. But I wanted to explain to you a few things. Um, I know you really like this um, jumper top. Uh, you probably have seen it on my Instagram. I have a black one as well and you will see them in a in a lookbook so you know I'm, I've been looking at the trends and I'm quite liking it but also at the same time I'm feeling a bit old because a lot of these things I've already worn before in late 80s early 90s so I think that's when you start feeling old when the fashion comes back around again um, although there is always new twist on it so a lot of it is the polo necks, boat necks, and I'm not a fan normally of those. I feel they really like, I don't know, anything close to my neck makes me feel like I'm suffocating. But some of them are so comfortable and this is one of them. This is from, um, is it ASOS or Very? I think it's from Very. I hope they still have them. I will leave you the links, obviously. This is like very fine knitted rib and it has this, I know someone commented that they look like pearls. Uh, they have a shape of like a half pearl, but they're not actually pearl. They are like a gunmetal stud type of thing. But this is just so soft and not restricting. So it's very, very comfortable and I don't mind wearing it at all. I don't like the roll necks or something that is really tight around your neck. This is very comfortable. Another thing I wanted to tell you about is I found this shop on Amazon that sells very, very inexpensive um, jumpers and they are all the same but in every colour you can imagine. So I got white and pink and I'm thinking to get some more. You will see them as well. It's just a simple, quite loose fitting. Um, I'll show you maybe on a pink one, the actual knit on it. A v neck, it's quite, um, it's a bit longer at the back. Um, I got the small, I think. Yeah, but if you want something much bigger that is really like slouchy and, but I can still wear this one off the shoulder. What I've also noticed is that as you wear it, it gets a bit bigger, if you know what I mean. But when you wash it, it goes back into shape. I don't tumble dry it or anything. So I got the small one because of that reason. And you know, it is really soft, really nice. And if I tell you how much it costs, you won't believe it. I think this was seven pounds. And like I said, they do them in all sorts of colors. So I thought to myself, even if I just wear it this winter, who cares if they are not good next winter? Seven pounds, you know, you can't even buy a lipstick for seven pounds. So I've got the white one and the pink one. It's a really lovely um, bubblegum pink. I don't know if you can see the knit on it. it. It's really, really nice. Okay, so that's this. Another thing, um, you know, is the boots. Obviously, lots of um, suede boots, velvet boots, over-the-knee boots. And I got two pairs, one black, one um, sort of neutral colour. And I was a bit sceptical because it's a bit tricky to wear over-the-knee boots. 
uh, you have to, I feel, you have to have a really, really skinny thighs because obviously they come up quite high over your knee. So what's on display is the thickest part of your thigh. And I don't have the skinniest thigh because I've got big hips, you know. So I was a bit worried, but there are ways that you can still wear them. Obviously don't wear too short, um, like the sweater dresses or tops. Um, just leave yourself about, well, you will see how I've put it together. But you can still wear them unless you've got really nice thin thighs, then you can wear something shorter. Um, another, I bought these boots also, which are just a suede, you know, small kitten heel, pointy toe. I mean, they are not stiff. I've got a, you know, thing in here. They are very floppy, so they are a bit stretchy. Just pull on boots. I love these. I remember having them beginning of 90s and I wore a pair that, that pair to death and I got rid of it since, obviously. And so I just bought this pair because I find them so versatile. They look so good with skinny jeans, especially when you put it all in black. It really elongates your leg. These are these just come up under your knee. Um, so you will see a lot of me wearing these boots. And now I wanted to explain you another outfit that you will see. I think it's the second outfit. You will see me wearing this black dress which is again, I would say this is what, a bit 60s, you know, sort of the trapeze dress, just very simple, a bit pinafore-like, because that's a big trend as well, pinafore, jumpsuits, dresses. Um, they have like this, I don't know if you can see, um, frill here and like diamantes, but you will see um, white sleeves sticking out of, of it. So what I did, I've put this little top under it, which is like a bardot top. But as you can see, to wear those pinafore uh, style dresses or jumpsuits, if you want to put something like this underneath, you have to make sure that the actual little sleeves are... Sorry, my card was full, so I don't know where we finished. I think I've shown you the black dress um, and it's this top and this is from O'Neill. So if you want to wear something like that, and you will see it in a minute in a lookbook, you have to make sure that the sleeves are almost like sewn on to this bardot top. Do you know what I mean? Um, because most of bardot tops have just one piece of fabric going around you. So that's just I wanted to explain to you so you didn't think that the dress was made with the sleeves. That's how I wore it. Also, please forgive me if the lighting is a bit off and I might look a bit different in a few looks because I filmed it over a couple of days. It's such a hard work and I do it all myself. I don't have anybody else to film it for me. So I do it all myself. So it's quite a long process. So the lighting will be changing because one day was more sunny than other. Also, I think in this video, Louis makes an appearance a couple of times. Um, looks at me like I'm not normal. Okay, so enough talking. I will get you to my little um, fashion show. Remember, this is not a haul, so I will only link what's available. This is just ideas, um, outfit ideas, so you see the stuff, the kind of outfits that I like to wear. Okay, so let's get to it. Thanks for watching, and I see you soon. Bye. Thank you.